am back. It is me, the Ginger Man, and I have arrived safely in the beautiful town of Glenrothes. Now, I'm quite aware this place is quite massive, and I believe the third largest town in Fife, so I've got plenty exploring to do. It's just turned nine o'clock. I don't have a watch on. So Glenrothes, show me what you got. Peace. So here's the Kingdom Shopping Centre, so if you're from Dunfermline uh, you'll know there's been a recent incident with security and filming in shopping centres so I'm not sure I'm allowed to take my camera in here Also it says no entry, is there an entrance here? I don't know, let's go Play shoes, gloves and masks in this bin That's a good sign Okay, face masks are mandatory Check, is there anything about filming? Filming and photography, unless with prior permission of management team. Now, because I'm a law-abiding ginger man, I am not going to go into the kingdom and film the kingdom shopping centre. But what I will do is I'll walk down here past the bus station. So, yeah. Look at this, we've got a smash window. Eggs. Uh-oh. Uh, someone smashed it with a bit of chocolate and a brick. Interesting, so we have a little bit of damage here. This is a bad start. It's a bad start for going off us. Smash windows. Well, we can see the eggs have been used. There's the evidence. So someone says, I'm not going to make a cake. I'm going to smash a window. The famous Glen Rothes bus station. Let's see what we can see. Drop center. Oh, aye. There's a Baines. It's got Baines, but it's sure. Okay. Glenrothes is massive, and we'll be discussing more about the, the history of this town as we travel through and eventually find my way out of this kingdom shopping centre that I'm not allowed to film in. There's Trimmer's Barber Shop. I thought that said something else before I seen the tea. This is interesting because what we have here is a random gathering of trolleys. Look, trolleys, and there's some over there too. So, there's a random gathering of trolleys and no apparent use for them. So, so far what I've learned about Glen Office is Glen Office is quite an interesting place. Um, so yeah, as I said earlier, it's the third largest populated town in Fife. It is also the 18th largest populated place in Scotland. So, Glenrothes is not to be messed around with. We're talking about a town close to the size of almost a city, I guess. Or virgin on that area. Um, so there's a lot of exploring to do today. So I've just started straight in the middle at the town centre. Now, What's different about Glenrothes Town Centre, unlike places like Dunfermline or Kirkcaldy, is there's no historic town centre. And that's because Glenrothes is a new town, meaning it was purposely planned after World War II to deal with the overspill from the, the larger cities of Scotland, like Dundee and Edinburgh. Uh, and similarly, through in the west, you've got Cumbernauld and you've got Livingston, we're also new towns. So yeah. Glenrothes is one of those new towns and a feature of the new town um, is the roundabout, the overuse of roundabouts. So yeah, there's a hell of a lot of roundabouts in Glenrothes. I'm sure we'll see plenty. Anyway, 
Moving on. I really like this bit of the clock. I feel like if these bits were open uh, and maintained a little better, this could be such a nice entrance into the Kingdom Shopping Centre area. As I say, it's just a shame things look a little bit worn. I like the clock, it's different. Oh look, we've got another smash window. So, I feel like there's a big sign of crime in the centre of Glen Office here. And I'd like to investigate what's going on. But look, they've got CCTV. And we've got Ginger Man on it too. No, no smashing windows is not cool. It's just people's livelihood. It's a bit windy. Um, one of the other things I like about Glen Office though is we are surrounded by the, the natural beauty of Fife. And this, as you come out here, look, you can see the hill in the background. And things come back to nature. And we'll be going exploring some of Glen Office's nature. And here we have yet another entrance to the Kingdom Shopping Centre. People think Glen Office is known for its roundabouts, but I'm learning today it's more about zebra crossings. There's some interesting stuff coming up here. There's the food warehouse. I've never heard of that before. The food warehouse. There's the YMCA. It's fun. Feels a bit like a smaller Livingston in this bit. This. This is my thumbnail. Uh, someone's donated some club biscuits to their hippo. Look, there's more there. I don't think he's into them. Oh, whoa, 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 this entrance is closed. <laughs> Would you believe it? It's actually quite a nice morning. There's a bit of a breeze, which is a bit of a pain when filming. But it's all good. I feel like my office, because it's not got the ancient history, it has the opportunity to become more modern and feel in it. It can really prosper in this modern world that we live in. Look at this. It's not barbed wire, it's birds, I think. There you go. Some places have pride in their, their medals and awards. Look at Glen Office. Beautiful Fife Awards. 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know what happened after 2014. They've got Britain in Bloom Awards, 2009, Silver Gilt Medal, Best Large Town. So, Glen Rothfuss is flexing. It's got stacks of awards. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel like anywhere else in Fife. Especially this bit I'm standing in. It feels so different. Look at this. Foot Foot Five House. A big cool clock at the front. I'm not so sure about the design of this building. It has a very uh, Soviet look to it. It wouldn't look far out of place in Eastern Europe, is what I'm saying. So, we've got a multi story car park attached to the ginormous area that is the Kingdom Shopping Centre. Um, also it's got the Rothes Halls attached to it, so live shows going on, going on in there. Rothes Halls. There you go. By appointment only. That's a shame because I was hoping I could just jump in and grab my vaccine but now whilst I was on film. But it's not to be. I'm not vaccined up yet. So I bumped into this gent. Sorry, what's your name? Ian Robertson. I've Bumped into this local guy, Ian Robertson, and as I've been walking around the Kingdom Shopping Centre, I've bumped into him and had a wee chat. He's got a little thing to say, which I think is quite important. 
The doors for these town centres up here is closed at the top end at the Rothes Hall's end and they should be open up for pensioners, disabled and anybody that's wanting to use them to get access into it. In the winter there we had snow, we had blizzards, ice, rain, the lot and pensioners and disabled people had to walk right round about there. Now I don't think Mars Pensions Fund, who owns this place, likes that. So something should be done about it and these doors should be open for access for anybody getting into the town centre. The food pantry in here, mm -hmm. it's open three days a week, a Friday, Saturday and a Monday. And we had to fight for to get the doors open to allow people in to get food to the needy. Unbelievable. That was it. It should be the right moral thing to do is to open the doors. There's well, no other reason be. why... Yeah. Well, how do you expect pensioners and disabled people to walk right round there in the snow and the ice and what have you? Uh -huh. With their reliability phone. Yeah, yeah. You know. Agreed. So that's it. We could have opened the doors there. No problem. Mm -hmm. You walk through there in safety in a bit of heat. Yeah. That's about Agreed. Right. Right, thank you so much for talking to me. See you later, man. And there we go. Doors closed, blocked right off. Why is this? Here we are. This is what he was talking about. It's ironic that I've been walking around the building talking about all the entrances. Then I bump into someone who is literally impacted by the closing of one of the main entrances. 3,000 bingo. I like bingo. That's the one thing I miss most from the lockdown, is the access to a good bingo ball. We've got Rarata, Raratal, Raratal, Indian restaurant and takeaway. Smells good. Smells real good. And then we've got the KNL Cinema, I've been in here before. I know, cinemas are shut as well, still. So aye, this is Glen Rothes Town Centre. Not like anywhere else in town. football goals I've ever seen. Look at this. Um, so I was doing a little bit of reading on um, Glen Rothes and on the looking at the name um, and the name comes from the Earl of Rothes who originally owned all this land and um, before it was built up as the new town um, but not to confuse it with Rothes and Moray, uh, they called it Glen Rothes because of the valley that it's been built in. There you go. I have moved out of the main centre of Glen Rothes and I've come looking for some spectacular views of the nature and the surrounding nature of Glen Rothes. I don't know where I am, I just started driving and I came to this bit. Look. There's all nice fancy houses looking over Glen Rothes. Public path to Flowers of May and Walkerton. I'm into the Flowers of May. I'm here for the views though. I'm here for the views. But what is this? What is this? Stop this development. Save the homes of these animals. Oh yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Oh my god stop the development we have to stop the development i'm glad i came to look at that because i want to stop the development and i want to save the animals lives too there we go we're on the campaign trail in glen office today look at this though the views up here are phenomenal see this is why you just go for it you don't plan too much you just go because the wonder the excitement the, the, the joy of discovery is evident. Look at this! Wow! Look at this!
for this beautiful, perfect little bit. Sheep are just chilling, enjoying life. And I can hear a golf course just at the back of it. So we're on the back of a golf course. It's pretty cool. One of the things um, I've really found interesting about Glenrothes is the motto, actually. It is Ex Terra, which means strength from the earth. Brilliant. Ex Terra. get an idea of how close we are to Leslie, just up that road there is Leslie and there's Glenrothes and in between Glenrothes and Leslie is a pair of horns look at this I'm in the safe hands of Glenrothes now excuse the pun there we go, Glenrothes twinned with Boblingen That's the rain on. Hallelujah. I love the rain. But at least it's not cold. It's a little bit windy, but yeah, the rain is on. Okay, so back to Glen Rothis. I'm just heading back down to the park that I stumbled across in Leslie, which I later realised was in Glen Rothis. So I'm just going to come and have another angle perspective view on it. Uh, Vintage Inns. Fetical Fox. Well, that's pretty nice. Foxy lady! So if you don't know where I am right now, there's that bridge. That cool Glen Rothis bridge. And um, there's a roundabout with tulips. The tulip roundabout. Looks like a picture frame. Ah, oh, look! And the trees are perfect. Look, I'll capture it. Look at this. Ah, oh, this is cool. See, this is this is art. Wow. When you stand through it, the trees are symmetrical on each side. Whoa, it's better without me in the picture. See? This is why I came back, because I didn't see this last time. How could I miss it? This is the best thing in the park. Other than Slenderman. Look, this avenue of trees was planted on the 12th of October 2001 celebrates 30 years of twinning between the towns of Glenrothes and Boblingen. So it's a bit of art for Boblingen. And we've got this at the end of it too. Now this is cool. There's a real creative drive in Glenrothes. And it's creative in a way that I haven't seen before and I like that. There is a lot to admire in this town. A lot to admire. Wow. Love it. Oh. Check your tea. Oh, check your prostate. Yes, check your prostate. Check your prostate. And if you struggle finding it, you can get someone to help you. The thing with Scotland is there's so much contrast between the seasons that although I've been through this park before, it feels different than it did last time. And yeah, that's why life is so great, it's ever changing, it's full of surprises. It's just such a beautiful thing, even in the rain. Oh yeah. All right, very nice. There's Slender Man looking over the duck pond. This is such a beautiful, well-kept park. And just behind me over there, there's about 12 council workers standing under a tree. So, you know, we are in Glenrothes, the home of Fife Council. It's such a beautiful park. So big shout out to the guys from Fort for Friends of Riverside Glen Rothes. Sorry, I've got my hood up with my hat on. I'm trying to keep as dry as I can, but as you can see, I'm turning into a very wet man right now. Look, we've got another bridge. 
We've got Mosaic, Riverside, Park. Ooh. This is cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've got another park up ahead. I think there's there's a flying fox. There's definitely a flying fox. And the rain is stopping. You know what that means? Because I've not found a tree swing, I uh, get to reward myself with a shot on the flying fox. Um, Hopefully I don't get too soggy a bum. Oh, -ho. so it's not just cars that have to deal with potholes; it's also pedestrians. Fife Council. Right, we're, we're oh god, if we fall off the flying fox. We're in big trouble. We're in big trouble. Take a swing. Hey, yeah, this is a good one. Like this is high end. A little bit of danger. Whoa! That's the best! That's the best! Oh my god! That was thrilling! Okay, so this is the best flying fox around, without a doubt. That was intense. That was like a wee beach. Glen Office's secret beach, right there. So because Fife is renowned for its coal fields and its coal mines, I, you know, I was thinking, what's Glen Office got? To play in the, the coal mine in history um, and realising obviously that the place grew out after 1940 it was interesting to read that the place was actually originally meant to be um, for a mine that was getting built in the area and it was going to house the residents who worked at the mine um, but throughout the 1940s forward into the 60s and 70s all the mines began to shut so they went ahead with the proposed plan to make Glenrothes a new town and thus today we have Glen Rothis. And I think they've done a good job. This is such a cool park to walk along. It really is. Look at the trees. They look massive. And then a the big green patch of field. There's so much art around the place. And a lot of people when I mentioned about what will I see in Glen Rothis, so many people mentioned all of the, the sculptures and the artwork. No boy have I seen sculptures and artwork. And lots of hippos, not rhinos, hippos. Look at this. The sun comes up, it'll be perfect. But look, we've got a little bit of muriel on this wall here. And we've got hippos behind us. We've got something at the top of this extremely steep hill that I'm nervous about climbing to get out of breath. Sore legs, got a bit of a tight hammy. Look at this, skateboarders. Heaven is a half pipe, so I feel, it's like a muriel to someone. Is it Steph? RIP 89 to 05. She's just a year younger than me, I was born 88. That's nice. So it's official, there are more hippos in Glen Office than there are in the wild. These ones are pretty. They're eyeing me up, this one's definitely eyeing me up. It's like, get away. So Glen Office is basically hippo land. Trippy, trippy art hippo land. That's what I'm going to call it. I love it. I love it. There's a lot of style and character about Glen Office that if you don't stop and take a take a look around, you might not you might not notice it. <laughs> what does it mean? Why is it here? Who made it? There's got to be a plaque somewhere telling me. It's got to be. I'm curious. I like that you can interact with it and walk through it. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. See, this is this is Glen Rothis in a nutshell. What a beautiful, beautiful place in Fife. I also read, which was quite interesting, that from the 60s until the 2000s. It was a bit of a, a silicon town here, in the sense that um, technology firms were a lot based here, which is quite interesting. I did not know that. So I had a message from a local brewing company out here in Glen Office called Cool Brewing. I'll pop a wee link below. I was going to go visit them, 
um, but I had to change the days when I was coming out filming and they didn't match up so I never got to go visit their uh, brewery set up which is a shame because I thought that would have been cool and I was hoping I was going to get to try mm. one but never fear because I'm sure I can get another chance to visit um, but aye, just a wee shout out to them and thanks for reaching out you can't escape the graffiti you cannot escape it and it, the thing I like about graffiti is it comes in all shapes, all sizes and sometimes, sometimes even all colours look at this, interesting Fife Pilgrim Way Labyrinth this grass labyrinth has been created because the Fife Pilgrim Way will soon be passing through this area of Riverside Park Labyrinths have long association with pilgrimage the design is from the 12th century labyrinth in Chartres Cathedral you're invited to walk the labyrinth, labyrinth this is usually done by entering at the opening and then slowly following the path to the centre I was like sitting thinking where's the labyrinth? where is it? I, I can't see the labyrinth it's right there Pretty cool though. So there we go, the labyrinth. I thought it was in the trees. I was like, oh yes, there's a labyrinth in the trees. And right at the heart of it's David Bowie. It's the power of the babes. Which babes? The babes of the power. What power? The power of the voodoo. Who do you do? So we were at the Glen Rothes skate park. No dogs allowed though, which is surprising because I have seen dogs on skateboards there we go skate parks have uh, popped up all over Fife in the last 10-15 years since I was a, a young adolescent So where am I now you ask? I've come to the War Out Woods um, I put a status out again as I mentioned earlier Asking people saying where should I go in Glen Office? And I've got over 60 comments um, So I don't know if I've got enough SD card to see everywhere that everyone suggested But I'm making my way around town It's about half twelve now And this looks great Didn't even know this was here The War Out Woods Now I know the War Out Stadium because that's where Recife won the Five Cup Okay, so we found another little bridge. This is quirky. Cute. There's Glen Office, the land of bridges, roundabouts, and zebra crossings. I spy, with my little eye, something, beginning with, War Out Stadium. Now look, you can actually get into it from the woods. There's a break in the fence. I don't know if I'm meant to come in or not. It is. There we go. The Young Glens, Glenrothes FC. This is a. Uh, we play at Warout Stadium. There we go. They should have called it All Out Warout Stadium. All Out Warout Stadium. That's intimidating. But yeah, great memories here winning the Fife Cup with a scythe. And this is, I think, where a lot of amateur football finals are played. So yeah, I've got great memories of playing here. Love it. Alright. This is it, some behind the scenes footage when it starts raining. Um, hopefully we've got some coverage at the Warhouse Stadium. Thanks again for the hospitality of the guys at the Warhouse.
back to the Riverside Park to do some drone footage. There's a hippo. Look, I missed this. They've got maps here. They've got maps. Look at this. Leslie Walk, we know about that. Forest Explorer, Riverside Walk, done that. Dipper Way. I'm going to take this. Okay, so I, we're back here uh, to fi finish off the day with some drone footage. There's a hippo. The sun has finally come out because it's been raining, a bit of hailstone, just the usual. Um, and I kind of just want to summarise what a day I have had. Um, and I was talking to Stephen and we were saying that Fife is based on lots of different things. You know, you've got mining, you've got the MOD at the Scythe and the coastline there. You've got fishing, you've got all of these things and Glenroth is kind of, doesn't fit into any of those brackets um, but what it does have is it has some of the most unique art sculptures around the place that for me kind of gives it its character, it gives it its its place in time and history um, yeah, I've had such a great day, so thank you for watching if you want to support what I'm doing um, and help me get more time to do this um, I'll add a link at the bottom and you can join my Patreon and get access to bonus footage, content, everything. I'll be updating one every month. So please, that would be great. Thank you so much if you get involved with that. Um, and also I'll add another link to my PayPal account if you want to tip me and buy me a coffee on the road. Anyway, I am going to have a nice relaxing drive home because I have really thoroughly enjoyed my day in Glen Office. Peace.